Hey guys, this is Marie and I'm back with another video and this video is going to be tour of my 20 gallon long crab attack. So let's get started. So in this video I will be showing you and talking to you about everything that's inside of the tank. So here we go. But first I have some exciting news to show you guys. As you guys know when I did my collab video with Animal Lover about our hermit crabs, one of my hermit crabs was actually molting and I couldn't show you her. And her name was Molly. So today she actually came up from her molt and it's been one month since she's been down and I'm very excited to see her. So I wanted to go ahead and give you guys a sneak peek of what she looks like before I put her in the tank. So here she is. This is Molly and she's my purple pincher hermit crab and she's about a small size hermit crab. She's in a natural shell and she actually molted for about one month and she did a great job. As you guys can see here, she has all her legs and pinchers. I checked her out just to make sure everything was okay, and she did a great job. So I'm very happy for her. And as you guys can see, her color looks like a light purple and red color. And she looks beautiful. Now this is going to be actually her first time ever going in this new tank, because she was actually in the old tank when she was molting. So I'm very excited to show her the new tank and let her explore and climb and have a good time in the new tank. So I'm going to go ahead and put her in there so we can get on with this video. Alright, there she go. Alright guys, so the first thing I'm going to talk about will be my substrate. My substrate is 5 inches tall and it is um, equal earth, dirt, and play sand mixed together. The next thing inside of the tank is this uh, green and yellowish plant. And this came from Petco. And it's just a plastic plant that my hermit crabs absolutely love to hang around and sleep in and just be lazy, really. As you guys can see here, there is about two hermit crabs on there now. That one is Hope. And then... That one is Lily, and I think Speedy's in there too, but I can't really tell because it's too, too crowded. So I got this plant from um, Petco. The next thing inside of the tank is this log, and this log came from Petco, and I absolutely love it in this corner. It makes it look really natural inside of the tank. The next thing is inside of the log is my terrarium moss. And I just put a little bit in there to help with the humidity. Now moving on to the middle is going to be the fresh water on the right and salt water on the left. Now that is just a stain so don't mind that. That is used to be their food bowl but I changed it into their salt water bowl. Then I have this nice little short stick that goes across like a bridge. And I thought that would be pretty neat for them to climb through and just climb through and take a look a little shortcut and I actually seen uh, Hope actually do it so that was pretty cool and there is Molly checking out the tank the next thing I'm going to show you would be this driftwood and I absolutely love this driftwood um, this came also from Petco and the original price was about $14.99 to about $19.99 and I actually got it on clearance for $3 so that was an awesome deal, and I can't believe I got this huge driftwood for $3. So that's what that looks like. The next thing is their tree plant. And I decided to put that in the corner and then just put the driftwood right there. And this is actually their favorite spot to hang out on. If they're not hanging on the other plant, they're always hanging on this plant. And the next thing is brand new. And this is actually going to be their food bowl dish. And this is just looks like a little leaf uh, dish that has cranberries inside. And the pretty thing about this is it actually hangs on your glass. So here's the suction cup right there. And it just hangs off the glass. So that's pretty neat. And it kind of saves up more room than putting the bowl on the bottom like the fresh water and the salt water. So I absolutely love this. And this actually came from PetSmart. But I can't remember how much I paid for it. I don't think it's no, it was no more than, I want to say 6 or $7, so it wasn't really cheap. But I absolutely love it, it's perfect. Now you guys are probably wondering where the shells are. 
So I decided to hide the shells inside of the plant back here in the corner. So all their shells are back here and I thought it would be nice to have it hidden back away so if they want privacy to change their shell they can. And also this is a great hideout for them um, to hide back there where the heating pad is. And then here is the heating pad. And then the heating pad is on this side. And then here is a better view on the top of what everything looks like. Alright guys, so this is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below, and definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!